It's a 1983 13-foot casino. Very nice. Uh, she has the cellar on top already. One on top, and then she has a portable one. Too. She's working on hers. But this is a neat little camper, too. Do you want me to empty stuff back out? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, this is Barb's 16 foot. And, 13 foot. Uh, I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> 13 foot. Uh, see what size means to me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and she uh, hasn't got it finished yet as far as refurbishing. But she has got the floor done. Nice wood floor there. Oh, and you actually have the bench, uh, the cushion and stuff in there too mm -hmm. when I looked at it last time. But look at this. Still got the little stove, a sink. As you see, she's packed to go. And a little fridge. And uh, where's behind the Behind the orange Okay, bag. down here is a domestic little fridge behind the orange bag. And here is her bed. That's a nice looking little bed there too. Comfy? Yeah. Oh, that's neat. And it has that original carpeting that uh, is on the walls. But it's going to be, is this going to be the closet, hon, that you wanted done? Mm -hmm. See this? She's got her batteries here right now. And there, oh, she's even got the, my solar controller going. the controller up there, too. And she's got a bat here if anybody tries to break in on her. My dad's friend <laughs> that walking stick. Who? My dad's friend. Uh, well, he was my shop, my um, high school driver's ed teacher. Oh. <laughs> and look at the cabinet. Look, ca those are original cabinets, aren't they? I think they have been recovered with a uh, lock kind of flooring. Oh. And that's why they have the split down the middle, if you see. I don't even pay attention. It just looks like wood. No. But in they the, did a good job. Yeah. With it. And this one too, those probably the original latches though, because they look like it. Right. Yeah. And um, still has the little window here by the kitchen. The little jalousy windows. Yeah. Here? Mm -hmm. Oh, these are jealousy windows? Mm hmm. When we replaced the rivets yeah. and the seal with butyl tape, yeah. re riveted the windows and they crank open and. Wow. They work. See, we just, the new ones have got the sliders in. And you have this a front window, too. She has the front window, back window, this open. little window, and three windows up there. What don't open? The this front and back windows don't open yet. Oh, but they... I'll show you why. But they will open when you get it finished. This is they? what rehabbers try to do with silicone. Yeah, I know. I, I, and... All it is is a big mess and it doesn't really seal anything. Oh. So the trick is to take the silicone off and start with a real small Well, that surface. Well, yeah, that's why I don't open. It's mm -hmm. duck stuck. Mm -hmm. And so then you use butyl tape in there. Now you fix the ones on the side and already. Fix that. Mm -hmm. And then we replace this also. So you can see yeah. where the old silicone was leaving this yeah. nasty. Yeah, and that's hard to get off. Oh, it just is a nasty mess to try yeah. to get off. See what they've done to this yeah. end. And it's just a and how much nasty did you pay for yours? My vent? Was, no, the trailer. Oh, my trailer? Yeah. I had to drive over 300 miles to yeah. get it in the mountains of Telluride, Colorado. <laughs> and it cost me $3,800 because Colorado has high prices and it, people want trailers. And yeah. the fiberglass are to die for. Yeah, <laughs> and, I bet. Well, so, I, I paid a lot for mine. And as a little 13-footer, I thought, felt I was really lucky. Yeah. And, they don't make these anymore. No, they yeah. don't. And when I found out about the insurance on them, um, they had to call the factory to get a replacement cost. Oh, really? And the factory doubled the price of what it was I bought it for. <laughs> and so my insurance will pay me that much if it has seven thousand. If I who you have insurance with? Uh, Safeco. I got mine with. So that. if it's damaged to yond repair, I should get paid out. Yeah. Something to replace and buy a new one. Are those uh, new rims? I got new tires and rims in 2015. 2016, I'm sorry. So when did you get the trailer? I just bought the trailer in 2015, the fall of 2015. That's when I got mine. That's when I got mine too. Or to fall of 2016. 
That's right. Mine was 20, 2015. Okay, fall of 2016 is when I got it, and then um, it was in rehab all of 2017. Yeah. Okay. And so I'm finally pulling it out now yeah. in 2018. <laughs> so this is your first trip, isn't it? This is my first trip since I've rebuilt the inside. Okay. Very neat. Um, uh, my bed in the back is my go-to. Oh, and she also has this. Uh, <laughs> is this a minivan? It's all right? up with my solar yeah. stuff right now, but that's my hers backup is, plan yeah. bed. Hers is packed like mine. <laughs> yeah. Right there. This is a cot, and then I have storage she, under there. Yeah, and she great. has a bed in this in case, just in case she needs it. <laughs> <laughs> yes. That's, when uh -huh. I travel when it's 11 degrees and yeah, yeah. I'm going through the mountains of Colorado. I yeah. This is kind of fun too. I, I put these, oh, look at which this. is really great storage and easy access for everything. Yeah. My silverware drawer. <laughs> so you can you can go in a little camper because you got a big uh, I have storage, a lot of storage right there. Yeah. So it helps, but I use this for my clothing because then I can just reach in and laundry day is really yeah. easy. <laughs> Let me get you talking too. Oh, laundry day is so easy when I just <laughs> throw it all in my bag. <laughs> I'm a mess. Yeah. <laughs> So uh, Barb wants to come back soon here and oh, camp again. Absolutely. So you keep in touch. Oh, you can remember that, can you? Excellent. If you get an email from me, it might be under my blog name because I was going to start a blog a long time ago. Yeah. I never really did, but it would be Dusty Roads. Oh, that's a neat R -O -A -D -S, name. R O E D S. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's no, a, I never really uh, started a blog. But I might. named my uh, camper Ruby's Roadhouse. Oh, I like that. <laughs> well, my camper, because my name is Barb, it has to be Midge, Barbie's friend. Oh, Midge. <laughs> <laughs> like Barb and Midge on the Barbie doll? Uh-huh. Oh, so okay. that's my, my friend Midge right there. Okay. <laughs> Very neat. Well, thank you, Barb, for letting me uh, film your uh, little camper. Yeah. Yeah. Hopefully like the, you get some good footage on there, yeah. showing my rehab work. <laughs> oh. oh, the pictures of the rehab are on the renovator site. Oh, so can I join that? I don't know. He ask, said my... Ask Will. I he asked him if you. I could join with the 2001, and he said no. He said no? <laughs> well, he's stricter than I am. I think it's been another year that makes these even... Yeah, I'm older. Yeah. Now, yeah, mine so we is, have to step it up a year. So mine's 17 years old. Yes. Yeah, and so. mine is 30. And his is five. 30. Yours is 35. Or and his, something. And his is over 32. But I think mine is would go into that league at being a 2001. When we tore out that floor yeah. and there was a good fiberglass shell, I couldn't believe it. I thought, what a jackpot. Yeah. The maintenance on these is amazingly easy. That yeah. I mean, I have to watch the bearings, yeah. make sure my frame's not rusting out, <laughs> yeah. make sure my coupler is good because I had that happen when I first but bought my this trailer. This up here, I had to replace the coupler. Well, I did mine a couple of times because I was pulling it with a car in the beginning, and uh, so anyway. Yeah, that was a uh, lucky, lucky thing because my trailer fell right off the hitch. The coupler was. Underneath where the bolt holds, there, the plate should be a grab kind of plate like that. Yeah. And the bolt comes up and tightens it, and it's a tension bolt, so you push it up. And then yeah. That plate was flat, and so there was nothing to grab to lock the coupler yeah. into from jiggling loose is what happened. So that coupler just juggled loose, and then my trailer just... Were you on the road when that happened? I was, and I had the nicest experience in Santa Fe where I was so lucky. I was in between two parking lots when I dropped the trailer, and um, I didn't know it had dropped, so I'm dragging the trailer. <laughs> it didn't catch on the chains, and um, I'm dragging it, and two men, one comes out of the back of the store and the other stops his car right there, and they both jump out, and because it's so little, they lift the tongue <laughs> right back on the hitch, yeah. back down, lock it up, and I go again, and they told me where to go to a trailer repair because I had uh, severed the light cord uh -oh. a little bit, just enough to yeah. make me worry that I wasn't going to have lights. Well, my so, car caught on fire and burned my um, lights out to the camper. Oh, no. Yeah, but caught, I caught a cushion underneath it, and I didn't know. I knew I ran over the cushion, but I thought I'd just run over it. And um, it got caught up there, and 
I was going down the road and this lady is shouting out her window, your car's on fire. Oh, no. And I knew immediately what had happened to, because of that cushion. So I had to hit the cushion because I was on, um, there was a big truck on one side of me and I knew if I went that fast over on the side, I'd probably turn over. So I took my chances and hit the cushion. But it actually did very little damage. Oh, you're lucky, huh? It did, at the, at the time, it burnt my brakes out on the car and everything, but uh, the guy put more fluid in it and I drove it on up to Ohio. Oh. <laughs> that was That's in Georgia. Lucky. That is lucky. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so I got that help on the side of the road and then he, they told me to go to this trailer place. So I went over there and they fixed my lights and what it did something. And I took off again, and before I even got back on the highway, my trailer dropped off the hitch again. Really? And you had yes. it fixed and it dropped off again? Yes, and it, you know, so $80 or 90 or whatever it cost me at the trailer place was nothing. Mm -hmm. And then when it dropped off again, they said, well, go to Tractor Supply and get a new coupler. It looks uh -oh. like you need a new coupler. So I went and I got a new coupler. And I was standing in line, and I'm looking, and three people back, there was this man that looked like a handyman and I said any chance you can help me here I got a problem with my camp trailer and he says oh okay and he gave me an hour or so of his time and replaced my coupler right there in the parking lot wow what an amazing man See? that was so you're just drawing I was in the land of enchantment truly you're drawing in, nice in people Mexico. to you so yeah. I felt very lucky and then the people I've met along the way are just so generous and giving and kind and yeah. It's been a really great trip just on this, uh, I want to call it my virgin trip since my <laughs> rebuild. <laughs> uh, yeah. So. You know something though too, um, what are you going to, uh, his needs it too, how, how are you going to make it shine? Can you oh, do that with you wax? Can, you, to get the black streaks off I have to use probably Barkeeper Friend, Yeah. which if I just use the liquid and, and I don't scrub it, you just apply it and then rinse it off mm -hmm. you don't get any of the scratches like people think yeah um, because it is abrasive but it does get the black off of that and then um, mine is so old it might need a regel coat yeah but um, I hear you can polish them up pretty good with some some of the waxes. marine polish yeah and I wouldn't go with the floor polish that people talk about like Zep and things like that um, just because it's harder to get off when it, yeah. and it does peel and age. I put and it so on I mine. would go with marine products because these are really like a boat. You know what though? I put that on mine. Did you? Mm -hmm. I put a couple different ones on it, but I really need to scrub it down to the bare and then re recoat it with something different, I think. Because it looks like it's got a dirt buildup on it. Yeah. You know, so. And being out here in the harsh sun. Yeah. Oh, well, it's in my sign at home too, but still. <laughs> well, when I brought it from Colorado, yeah. I went over Raton Pass right in the middle of a storm coming in, and the mag chloride trucks had treated the road, and so my camper was just covered in a nasty mag chloride. So I'm glad you didn't get it the moment, <laughs> a little bit ago. Did but you? it's still kind of streaky <clears throat> because I just, I was at the beach and I it was raining a little and so I took a rag while it was raining and had my raincoat on and just washed the camera yeah. with <laughs> so yeah gave it a nature shower <laughs> yeah well it's really nice it's, it's been a lot of fun yeah it is fun doing things to them in mm -hmm. yeah and okay I'm learning so much yeah every step of the way <laughs> good okay Thanks, uh, Ruby. thank you and bye 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 now <laughs>